Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use Mel and Python scripts in Autodesk Maya. My name is Lucas Ridley with Digital Creator School, and the example we're gonna use is a Python script that I am providing that will match a locator to your selection or selections. So let's grab the Python script. So for this example, I'm just gonna copy paste this. And so I'm gonna copy it. And I like, there's two ways to paste it in, and I like to use the script editor down here because you can better compare the formatting. Um, the other way is this bottom left area, we can switch it from Mel to Python because I know this is a Python script. So you just wanna choose the correct one for whatever script you're trying to paste in. So if we paste this here, it's hard to tell if the formatting is correct. So I like to use the script editor so that we can see if the formatting is correct. So similarly to clicking Mel or Python down here, we need to add a new tab and choose Python because we know it's a Python script. So when we paste here, we can see that the formatting is correct, similar to what we uh, copied it from. There's these indents here, and indents are important for a script to run properly. So all you have to do now is just hit this button, but I know the way the script works is it's based on my selection, so I need to make a selection first. So I'm gonna select everything and then hit the Run button. And we can see now in our outliner we have these locators and they're named match locator underscore the frame number that we're on and the name of whatever we had selected and i included the frame number in case you wanted to uh you know look at something that's animated over time you could still use this script and the name won't get uh overwritten or won't mess up that way if that little piece wasn't in this script, the locator would just go to 000. It wouldn't know what to do because that name is already taken up. So that's one little extra feature of this script that I've added in. And the other little tip that I would share is if we want to continue to use this script over and over, it's easiest to middle mouse drag it, select everything here first, and then as I've done, Command A or click and drag, and then middle mouse drag from here to the custom shelf. When we let go, it leaves a little Python icon here and we can name, give that a name by right clicking, going to edit, and then going to icon label and say, uh, we'll just say match for now. And so now um, I'm on a different frame. I click that and indeed we have that uh, locator. So that is how to use Mel and Python scripts in Autodesk Maya. I hope you enjoy this free script. Uh, I use it a lot for rigging when I'm in the middle of animating and I forgot to rig something. I need to rig something in the middle of animating and I don't want to mess up my rig um, by using some kind of automated script that's going to create constraints. I like to just use that uh, script to track locations of things that are animated to rig new things. Um, it's a pretty handy little tool. Also, real quickly, if you have the file, just simply go to open uh, script from the script editor and you can access that and it will load it up as a new tab here. So thanks for watching. And if you're interested, let me know about uh, your interest in a Python uh, scripting tutorial. I could show you how I came up with this script and a couple of little other ones that I use on a daily basis. So just let me know if you're interested in that and I can put together a little course. Thanks for watching and I will see you at digitalcreatorschool.com. Thanks for watching.